Look at that. And hailstones. Hailstones hitting the window. Um, this is indeed a disturbing universe. <laughs> and welcome. Welcome to the Stereo 999 YouTube channel. I am your host, the artist formerly known as Stereo Steve. And uh, I've been like bit by bit working on something and that's why I haven't put out a video in a while. I'm, I'm got an idea for a new series and more on that later. I'm going to just do this really quick right here because I saw this thread that somebody started. I'll put the I'll put the link in the in the description. But somebody started this thread, twelve plus one greatest hits album, just to represent for greatest hits albums because you don't see them as much as you should in the vinyl community allegedly. So anyway, I've got twelve plus one greatest hits albums, and I'm going to just go through them here, starting with this. This is uh. Jimi Hendrix Experience Smash Hits, and uh, this is the American version on reprise. There is also like a um, import version with some different tracks, but this is pretty much pretty much Hendrix hits. Um, there's a few tracks that uh, aren't on other albums, like if you have the American albums, you don't have. A couple of tracks like Can You See Me and Remember that were on the uh, UK version of Are You Experienced? And then the Stone Free, that was just a single. But yeah, this is a pretty solid collection of hits here. Jimmy Hendrix Smash Hits. Alright. This one's really interesting. Uh, this is this came out uh, in the early 80s, like I think 82 maybe. It's Pink Floyd Collection of Great dance songs and uh it's it's you know as close as you can get to a band that every album was a unified concept you know so it's, it's always been kind of a task to make best ofs but this has some interesting this this has a few interesting things one thing was uh they were on columbia records and uh, Capitol Records owned uh, Money, wouldn't let them use the original recording of Money. So there's a re-recording of Money with, I think, David Gilmore playing most of the instruments. And uh, there's a re-edited version of Shine On You Crazy Diamond. And uh, the uh, seven-inch single version of Another Brick in the Wall that has a different intro than the one on the Wall album. So this this is just kind of, this is kind of a neat thing to have when when you can't make up your mind which Pink Floyd you want to hear you just put this on. All right, getting into the lounge music. This is the very best of Martin Denny, and uh, you know the uh, lounge music extraordinaire. It's on United Artists, and uh, just a little bargain bin kind of thingy. This is kind of interesting. This this is uh, Neil Young's greatest hits. This this particular collection of Neil Young only came out in Australia, and uh, you know it's got Cinnamon Girl, Old Man, Comes a Time, Hey Hey My My. So uh, yeah, this is the Australia only Neil Young greatest hits. Best of Cream. This is this is sentimental because this this was my introduction to Cream. That's just this cool picture of them. But uh, yeah, it's it's a good cross section of stuff. It's got you know Sunshine of Your Love, Badge, Spoonful, I Feel Free. You know, it's got you know vegetables. They're, they're real good for you. And what do you put on vegetables? Butter. Golden butter. 
Best of the Paul Butterfield Blues Band. And uh, this is great. This is, uh, you know, for White Label Wednesday. It's the radio station copy promo. But this is, this is great. It's got the long jams like East West and Drifting and Drifting. And then it's got like their version of Mary Mary. And it's just a solid double album there. Um, this is the Moody Blues, another one where their, you know, their albums are conceptual and it's kind of, kind of a challenge to make, to make a greatest hits, but this goes through all their albums. This is a Canadian pressing. The cover is a little bit different and the label is kind of small on this, but, uh, there, there are some things of note. I mean, for one thing, it's that the songs kind of crossfade and segue together, similar to the way they do on their regular albums. Um, the uh, version of Question on here is the version on the single, which is different from the version on this album. And, uh, yeah. It's, you know, it's just a nice collection of Moody Blues. Okay, this one I found in a bargain bin. This is Golden Biscuits by Three Dog Night. It's a later pressing on uh, MCA. But this is a best of Three Dog Night that does not contain Joy to the World. It does have one. This appears to be autographed by all these guys. Um, but this was in the bargain bin, so whatever. The, the, the store didn't seem to give too much of a rat's ass. But, uh, yeah, Three Dog Night, Golden Biscuits. All right. Well, best of. Is this best of? This is the worst of. The worst of the Mothers of Invention on uh, MGM. And uh, <laughs> in a plain brown wrapper. The worst of the mothers of invention. It's got help, I'm a rock, flower punk, you didn't try to call me, take your clothes off when you dance, wowie zowie, the song that Pavement named their album after. But, uh, yeah, best of, worst of, it's all the same. I could not find my octagonal Rolling Stones, but most of those songs are on this. This is More Hot Rocks, Big Hits, and Phased Cookies. And uh, this is, yeah, the, the follow-up to the Hot Rocks best of that everybody has. But it digs a little bit deeper. There's some B-sides. There's, you know, like I said, some of the more psychedelic tracks, like She's a Rainbow, 2,000 Light Years From Home, Child of the Moon. And, uh, yeah, that's a goodie. Okay, I got a few that are in this series, but this is the MGM Golden Archive series, and this is the Velvet Underground Best Of. See, there's, there's all the other ones here on the back. But, uh, yeah, they actually reissued this collection, just because it's a neat little collection, you know. I mean, you can see right there. All right, and now we get, oh, doesn't, doesn't this sound like fun? Now we get to number 12, The Doors, Weird Scenes Inside the Gold Mine. And uh, this is, because there was another best of that came out earlier, and this one digs more into the, into the deep tracks. It's got the end and where the music's over. Riders on the Storm, and uh, yeah, this is this is good good double album. This is like a UK pressing with a red label, but yeah, the Doors, weird scenes in the gold mine, and plus one to make it thirteen. The Doors thirteen, which this was the best of that came out prior to that other one. It came out, uh, they were still together when this one came out, and it's basically the 13 greatest hits. And uh, there's nothing from L.A. Woman, so they took care of that on the other one. 
But anyway. <coughs> yeah, this one starts out with Light My Fire, ends with the Unknown Soldier. But, yeah. Doors 13 for my 13th album in this quickie little thread. Alright, I'll be back sooner than later with another video. In the meantime, uh, this new series that I'm thinking of doing, it's called What I Got. And uh, what the way it works is uh, leave a comment, name an artist, and I will in the future do a video what I got by that artist and talk about it. I've got a few from prior comments kind of lined up and uh, gonna start. I'm, I've, I've filmed some footage for this next one, but I still got to cut it together. In the meantime, peace and thanks for watching. And uh... coming up next, it's the Banana Splits, followed by the Hair Bear Bunch on Cartoon Network.